Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing an April favourites video so if you want to see what products I've been loving in April then just keep watching. I've genuinely been really loving these products throughout the whole of April so I'm just gonna get started. There's not that much but I really just wanted to show you because since you know doing my no buy I like I said I've just been like trying things in my collection again and really liking them so yeah the first thing is i've had this about six seven months um the rare beauty highlighter in enlighten and i it was always kind of like i wasn't really like like it was pigmented um so that's why i was a bit like oh i'm not sure if i like this because it's like it is so pigmented and you just like you know it, it's a bit strong at times but i started using it with um a different brush like a fan brush instead and i got it on today and i've been like absolutely obsessed with it since i started to use it with the fan brush which doesn't put it on as heavy and kind of like blends it in a bit more to your skin so this is the shade um enlighten and yeah i'm just absolutely loving this um i'm using it like every day at this point it's kind of on a par with cookie now from benefit so i'm kind of going in between these two um at the minute and so i'm absolutely loving that um next i've been loving this um, i've actually got one on today in a different shade but this is the maybelline plump maxi uh lip plumper so this one which i've particularly been loving is in the shade blush blaze so it's just like the most stunning you can tell it's like a baby pink shade and it's so so beautiful today i've got the shade peach fever on and again i love it they do sting an awful lot though like they are they are probably one of the most intense lip liners uh, lip, lip plumping glosses i've ever tried even more so than fenty i would say 100 percent um so they do like after you've applied them they, they will continue to plump for a good period of time i would say so be wary of that but no, i've absolutely been loving these lately i think they, they last such a long time they last a lot longer than the fenty glosses personally for me like when i put them on you know they're still there hours later i, I always find the fenty glosses don't last that long uh, maybe it's just me but yeah i've been absolutely loving these i really want to get some more shades in them as well um so next um i have the jordana tisha blusher duos so i have been absolutely obsessed with these um i got them originally in january time december january time um and i did i'm, I'm kind of coming out the other end of my new buy now so i did pick up two more shades of these whilst they were in the spring sale um i did get doll face and talking stage i'm actually wearing talking stage today absolutely love these they're just they're so good like the fact that the cream and the powder are just both you know there that's just everything to me and um this shade a peach hate you like you know if you watch my videos regularly i'm just not a peach blush kind of person like at all like you know it's all right like like this one i've got on today like i do like it but i just don't like it as much as pink like pink blush to me is everything so this um jordana t-shirt a peach a peach hate you oh my gosh like this is everything i've ever wanted from a peach blush like it's so hard for me to get a peach blush that's not like just straight up orange and i feel like like this is such a nice peach shade um this a peach shade you so i have been obsessed with this like using it all the time it's just yeah this is a true peach for me and i love it so much like i can't stop using this at the minute um it's beautiful and the formula is so glowy and pigmented like even after you put the powder blush on you're still glowing and i i absolutely love that um next again i've had this for a while like see what this new eye has been doing to me um and i you know even though i'm phasing myself out of it now i'm not gonna go back to that habit of just buying a bunch of stuff i am gonna think really carefully before i buy anything like I knew those blusher getting to more of these blusher duos was a good choice for me because I do love them. Um, I'm just not gonna jump in and buy loads of stuff that I, 
you know, I'm not sure I'll like it, that kind of thing. But um, next I've had this for over a year now, but I've been going into it a lot more recently. It's from Makeup Academy. It's the Neutral Wanderlust palette. And this shimmer right here is so beautiful. Like these shimmers are so stunning and reflective. Like this was literally like three pound or something like that. And yeah, absolutely gorgeous. The formulas are just unbelievable obsessed with this um especially for when i wear a red lip because like i'm so like uncertain of what eye makeup to do when i wear a red lip but this palette has like saved the day for me like that shimmer just goes perfectly it just makes you have like such a nice glowy eyelid and you know you're not it's not like really intense it's just like so soft and glowy absolutely love that palette um then this palette you know i'm not gonna spend so long talking about it because I've, I've talked about it so many times but um I, i've always been using it you know since i got it um i just feel like this month i've been picking it up a bit more than usual p louise why don't we exhale um yeah i'm going back into this a bit more often like i like i say i've never stopped using it since i got it like i've always reached back back for it you know throughout the months but i just feel like recently i've really been going back into this because the shimmers are just too good to to not you know um yeah so absolutely really loving that i just i feel so happy like like i said last time it's like literally it's like going shopping every day in your own collection because i had literally that much stuff um the last few bits now so this lip liner i've got it on today it's from the beauty crop um it's in the shade biscuit this was actually gifted as part of a test and review but when it runs out 100 i will buy this again and i will probably get a few other shades because the formula is so good like it it just stays put like all day i find especially with these maybelline glosses like this goes with all three of the shades that i have and that's what i love about this shade biscuit because it's so it's like such a nice like kind of like i said it's like a neutral brown shade so it literally just goes with everything and it's so creamy and easy to apply and yeah obsessed with this formula it's definitely like you know once this is on your lips you're gonna have a hard time getting that off like you know it literally sticks down it's a bit like the charlotte tilbury formula it reminds me a bit of that like this once you put this on that is it, it is on your lips it's not moving anywhere so um i think these are a bit they're 10 pounds they're not the cheapest lip liners but they're definitely worth it for the quality i would say um last few items now. so this is the red lip combo i've been wearing lately and i've been absolutely obsessed with it so um it's so it's such a cheap one as well so this is the mea intense uh there's actually quite a bit of mea in this i didn't even realize um a bit of it mea in this like um video so this is the mea intense color lip liner in the shade agenda so it's like the perfect red like sometimes like i said this before like before i got my doll beauty uh bleeding gorge lip liner i always struggled to get a red lip liner that wasn't just basically like a really like a dark pink like a bright bright dark pink shade um they were never coming off truly red and that's that's what i absolutely hated but um now i've got this and this is a true red it's absolutely beautiful like it's so pigmented creamy it just glides on and yeah it just for me it was really about getting the color right like i have that doll beauty one like i say and that is like a perfect red for me as well but um i was in I can't remember what the name of the shop was but it was in manchester and it was like um one of those like bargain beauty shops that has like you know all, all kinds of stuff it's like a, a bit like an outlet kind of thing but they had this lip liner for like really cheap and i was like i'm just gonna pick it up <laughs> um and yeah it's everything i want in a red lip liner um and then I, i've been pairing it with this lately which is strange for me like not strange but i after i did my video on the grace collab i didn't really like I do use the products but like I don't know like how to explain it but like I'd be using this lipstick from the Grease collection the Rizzo one the red one um but I just feel like I don't know like I used the stuff in the review and then I still use it afterwards of course like I love the cream blush and the eyeshadow and that collection was so good actually from Revolution they haven't had a collection since then that's really like made me want to buy from them but yeah this lipstick like I just mean it like strange it's like strange for me to just be like I wore this for the review and I didn't really I, I wore it like once or twice after that but 
then for me to like lately just go start going back into it randomly was a bit like you know because I have tons of red lipsticks I used to use the L'Oreal one that dries down the liquid one liquid lipstick but um I wanted something that was a bit more like had a bit more of a sheen to it and I'm going so matte so I've been picking this up again lately and these two together are dreamy like so nice and it's less than 10 pounds for this combination so that's so good in my eyes and then the last product the MEA um hydro juice peptide so I've got two shades of these I do want to like a couple other shades um this is the watermelon sorbet one uh again these are literally two pound like two pound literally what other makeup can you get for two pound um they're so nice they feel so comfortable on your lips they're like a lip balm but they're like glossy but so they're like hydrating but they're still like a lip balm so they're like skincare as well but yeah so so nice um leave such a nice tint on your lips they have such a nice amount of color in them um they just hydrate and yeah I, I love these so much like I am really like I most of this makeup was actually more like a drugstore like the only things that were well not even high end but you know um Jordana Tisha blush 20 pound and P. Louise palette like was like 40 pound but like the rest of it's kind of like you know more of like a budget bargain like um what kind of rare beauty actually I forgot about that but um yeah, lots of stuff was like more on the budget side and you know, I always just think you don't need to spend loads of money to get really good makeup products. Like you just you just don't. Um like loads of this stuff I've just talked about it was really cheap. Um yeah, I mean you don't need to spend a lot of money to get good makeup products and this should just be a reminder of that. But yeah, I just wanted to update you with what I've been absolutely loving this month. So as always let me know what you think down below. Um, hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video it would mean a lot to me comment your your thoughts subscribe for future content and i'll see you again soon in another video bye